Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. Recently, the Online Jewelry Academy has featured a number of videos showing you how to make a variety of different types of chain. Now, chain making is fun, but most commercial chain is actually produced by machines. And we've had a number of viewers write in and ask us if we could demystify that process for them. As luck would have it, we recently visited Monte Cristo Trade Corporation in downtown Los Angeles, and we were able to visit, among other places, their chain making department. In this video, you're going to see a basic machine make a simple curb chain out of a two and a half millimeter wire. Now, that machine is producing a very simple chain, but they have a variety of other machines that produce all sorts of chains of different thicknesses, varieties, and sizes, and they can even cast some of their chains. Now, we'll be visiting other departments in future videos, but I hope that this video will whet your appetite to have a look behind the scenes of an industrial operation. So, let's go to Monte Cristo and check it out. We're in the chain making department here at Monte Cristo, and I'm with Greg, the resident expert. Greg, can you tell me what types of chains Monte Cristo can supply to its consumers? Sure. Uh, we have a vast variety of chains, uh, varying from uh, cable to curb, rope chains, casted chains, any kind of chain you can imagine, we can pretty much put together. So any size, any shape, any length, any variety? Just about. Whatever we're set up to do, which is various sizes. Well, I notice you have a wide variety of machinery in this room, and you've got an excellent, it looks like an antique, but I'm sure it's a fantastic machine. What does this one do? This one is doing a curb chain. Um, it can also be set up to do a cable chain. Um, it's all in the adjustment. Um, and this one is set up to run. This one is running currently a two and a half millimeter wire. Okay. Um, and it'll just produce one of our standard chains. And these are the same types of chains that would actually go to any type of product like for jewelry, for handbags, or other types of accessories? Whatever it may be. That's fantastic. Can you show us how the machine operates? Absolutely. So it looks like we're getting a loop through a twist that's now getting cut off. Right. Uh, wire feeds through what's called a spiral. The spiral actually forms the shape of the link. The link is followed into where the jaws are. The jaws first, it gets cut, then the jaws twist. And that's what finishes the chain. That's so cool. Thank you for showing that to me, Greg. No problem. Now, I notice you've got a lot of different chain making machines in this room. How much chain can one machine make in one day about? Depending on the machine, some of the smaller sizes could be one to two kilos. Some of the bigger machines, 10, 20, 30 so, kilos. So, so much that you're not doing it by feet or yards or meters, but by weight. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this visit to the Monte Cristo Trading Corporation. If you liked this video, there are plenty more like it on the Online Jewelry Academy's playlist here on YouTube, or you can check out the entire playlist on our website at www.onlinejewelryacademy.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.